Just is a good friend. And uh, in fact, I I mentioned to him off our air that every time he's called me, my brand has gotten bigger. And guess what? His brand keeps getting bigger, too. Uh, he's an award-winning actor, best-selling uh, author, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is recognizable for his star role in the CBS hit television series CSI New York, for which he won three NAACP Emmys Awards for Best Lead Actor in a Drama. Then the CBS series Covert Affairs, Showtime's award-winning drama Homeland. I hate it when he when he died in Homeland. They blew him up. Blew him up. He was a he was the lead to the president, but they blew him up. The cast of ABC's number one drama, The Good Doctor. And host uh, on HLN, HLN, how how it really happened, and has authored four, I repeat, four New York Times bestsellers. Here's something even more special about this young man. Experian announced a financial inclusion campaign called Boost America, featuring him. Please welcome to Money Making Conversations, financial empowerment activist, here Harper. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. I was eventually going to introduce you. Great to talk to you. Money making conversations. Um, you know, these these types of conversations are so important. So I'm so proud of you and this show. So fantastic. Well, you you came to the right show because uh, you really is really unique, man. Because uh, you supported me when I first launched it, and now I'm on so many platforms, and and, and uh, my reach is really incredible now, especially with my podcast. And uh, the show is starting to get syndicated in different markets. In fact, we started a. Uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, this Mother's Day, I uh, start broadcasting so well there, and so, uh, so well and so important because it, we need to have these conversations for empowerment. We need financial empowerment, and <laughs> um, and 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 folks need the information. So, so what you're doing is so vital. Thank you. So let's talk about uh, Experian. You know, which is a it was, it, yes. uh, explain what Experian is, and then also your relationship to uh, with the Boost America campaign. Okay, so Experian is one of the big three credit rating agencies, and, and, and you know and your audience certainly knows how important your credit score is in your life. And, we, and you know, I think we'll, we should dig deep into that, and we'll talk about that. But what the Experian Boost America campaign is, and it's really a challenge – to individuals, to folks in town, cities, families, friends, and folks across the country to engage with their credit, to take control. You know, right now in this country, there are more than 100 million people in the U.S. who don't have a fair chance to access the credit today because they, they have limited information in their credit files right. or, or they don't have a credit file at all. And that's certainly not good for them, but it's also not good for our communities and the American economy. You know, these people, they're forced to rely on high-interest credit cards and loans and, and things that, that many of us take for granted. And, and a study just came out, Rashawn, that, that if you have a subprime score below, you're going to pay more than $200,000 in added fees and costs mm. over the course of your lifetime. So the question is, in that environment, how can we ever build wealth? So the fact that Experian is innovating in this case, they're the first – to add to their algorithm the ability for the consumer, that's me and you and everybody listening, to load in positive payment information into hmm. their credit file, hmm. and, and which will ultimately, over time, boost your score. That's why it's called Boost America. Mm-hmm. It'll boost your score because up until now, that much of this positive payment history has not been in your file because we know folks in our community, the one thing we do pay every month is our cell phone bill, as an example, right? right because right. that's our lifeline to our friends and family. Right. The one thing we do pay our utility bills. We keep that electricity on. We, we, we take care of our family. When right. things are tight, sometimes we'll let our credit card balances run. But we don't let our cell phone bill run or our electricity or our water. Right. We pay those, but we've never gotten credit for that before wow. until now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So this is it's a powerful tool for us, and and that's why I'm I'm a hundred percent behind it. Folk, Experian is the only one of the big three that offers this. You know, the other two are called Equifax and TransUnion, and but Experian is the only one that's offering it. Um, you go you go onto the website Experian.com backslash Boost America. You go in. You have to you know put the information if you're paying these accounts through that they, you have to pay your utility or cell phone bill. You have to be paying them through your bank account, either checking or savings, right. and the names have to match. Mm-hmm. Right? You can't. You, you're not going to get credit for Grandmama paying her cell bill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, right. 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 <laughs> but as long as the names match, you pay them through a bank account. You can get credit, and it makes your 
it, it, it gives you more positive payment history into your file, and therefore, hopefully, your score will, will rise. It's really important that uh, people understand how important credit is. I, for some reason, it, I, since 18, 17, I always understood credit. I, not that my parents had good credit. They didn't. But I understood the value of good credit, the value of paying things off. And and so I remember right. back in my day, you know, a Sears credit card really had, back in the day, had more value than an American Express. And now Sears is out of business. But Sears, when you got a Sears credit card, it opened up the doors to all your credit cards. And so, mm-hmm. so like my like my credit card score, you know, Rashawn, do you follow? Yes, I do. My credit score right now is 835. Even okay. at my level, I understand that just because I can generate large sums of income, I can also I also need credit because you don't want to be using your income all the time. And so 835 right. is my score. And so 900 is the maximum you can get. And so so I, I'm proud of that score, but it takes... Yeah, well, I'm about to break, you know, 850 is the max. So you right there. Okay, cool. It's not 900, so, it's 850. 850. So you right there. 15 points away. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so, and watch this. Experian Boost even works for you that has high credit. That's why I'm telling everybody to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Your, your score may only go up one or two numbers, but that's better than zero. See, it is. every single time it moves, I feel good. If I see my score go up one point, I feel good. Right. And, and, and this is the thing people have to think about with credit. This is a really important thing. Credit is a tool. This is a tool, just like money is a tool. You know, people get real emotional about it. They get stressed out about it. Think about credit like a hammer. You don't get emotional about a hammer. Right. Hammers can can, right. can build things, but they also can tear things down. And credit's the exact same way. You use it properly, can help you build your life, help you achieve your goals and dreams. If you use it improperly, it actually hurts you because you're in a lot of debt and you and, and, and you're servicing that debt and you're and you're paying more and, and it's hard to get out from under it. Let's let's, let's put out some good things here. Uh, like a tool. Uh, where you can go for discussions about uh, www.experian dot com forward slash boost America and follow hashtag hashtag boost America and then this is a big uh, engagement campaign with a hashtag credit uh, credit chat on May fifteenth. Uh, yes, tell us about that. So I'll I'll be doing a credit chat on Twitter, live chat on Twitter. Any questions anybody has on May fifteenth, and so that'll be that'll be live, and it's a chance to engage uh, anybody who's listening now. Or if you know somebody, if you know a young person who has questions, you know we can do a whole. We're going to do a whole ch- Twitter chat on May fifteenth. Just check out my Twitter, which is at Hill Harper, or my Instagram at Hill Harper, and you'll and you'll get the information on on that Twitter chat how to come on and and, and we can engage uh, because so many people have so many questions. Uh, you know, it's not you know Boost this innovative product, this Boost America product with Experian is one thing, but. You know, it's the first step to helping you engage with your credit to make take other steps to improve it long term as well. Well, it's really important. So, so one can just call. I mean, just call because it's really good. Because money making conversation started on Facebook. It started on Twitter, yeah. and so I know the value of how you can start something somewhere, and then people around the world. That's the one thing that really blew me away when I was getting questions from South Africa, from England. So, so know that your questions and you're an international star. Let's go and be real now. So your questions are going to come from everywhere, man. Well, that which is great because this is all about empowerment, you know. And I really believe we're in a time where we're seeing the wealth gap widen. Rich folks are getting richer, poor folks are getting poor. We have to stop that. Right. And part of that is education. It's letting people know um, how they can actually build wealth, what they can do to do that. And part of it is equal access to credit. That's reason that's that at a reasonable cost. You know, right. too often there's that old saying, and you, I'm sure you've heard it, it. It's expensive to be poor. It shouldn't be that way, right? Absolutely. You know, poor folks Absolutely. are afraid of with the worst products, the highest interest rates. You know, in Michigan, your credit score is used for your for your car insurance. Right? Well, I don't, I don't want to go mean, too far on Michigan. I want to take that into the next break. But listen up, everybody. Okay. Uh, www experian.com forward slash boost America and follow hashtag hashtag boost America and on May 15th and we'll talk about this in the next break ha- next break on Twitter hashtag credit chat from 1 p.m. starting noon to 1 p.m. you'll be able to chat live with uh, Hill Harper Hi this is Rashawn McDonald we're talking about um, credit we're talking about how a lot of people feel um, uh, disenfranchised because they don't have credit and uh, Experian, one of the three majors of uh, 
credit score companies out there that allow you as a partner with a good friend of mine, uh, Hill Harper, and, uh, and, and trying to enhance, trying to give people an opportunity to get through the door, the door of opportunity. So, Hill, uh, you are uh, you're living in Detroit. And now you're investing in Detroit, and then Lunch and Boost America in this community to help empower its, its citizens. But I know I'm just saying Detroit, but we know this is nationwide, and in some instances, it's worldwide. So why the investment in Detroit? Why has Detroit suddenly become just the cool place to put your money into? Well, well, it's a, it's a couple things. I was introduced to Detroit originally through a f- doing films there, because they used to have a media tax credit, much like in, in Atlanta. Right. Um, and there were a lot of independent films being shot there. And I met so many people that were interested in social justice, some of the hardest working, salt-of-the-earth people I'd ever met. Um, a lot of creative people had been moved there because the cost of living uh, is much lower than many other major cities across the country. You know, you could purchase a home, a, a, you know, a multi-bedroom home in Detroit still for 35 the fifty thousand dollars. Right. You're gonna have to put some work into it, but the, literally the cost of living in is, you know, is is like that. And 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 all these people have stayed with the city. They worked hard, and 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 I was just impressed by. It. So I bought a business in downtown Detroit called the Roasting Plant, which is a coffee roastery right. in downtown Detroit. And then I bought a home there called the Fisher Mansion, which is, you know, some people consider Detroit's White House. And mm-hmm. I've been renovating it, you know, it's, it's a, it, and I put my art collection and I'm bringing my art foundation in to teach kids art there. But all that said is that you realize that in many ways Detroit is becoming a tale of two cities where you have all this resurgence ha- happening in the downtown core, but the people in the communities, the people that have been there struggling, are not tasting that resurgence. They're not part- participating in it. And I'm, I'm all about financial inclusion, and that's why um, this program is important, and that's why um, having discussions like this and financial literacy is important, because Detroit, unfortunately, has one of the lowest aggregate credit scores of any major city in the country. And so I took upon myself to say, I'm going to raise the credit score of the entire city, because if folks in the communities can't get access to capital, even though the houses are thirty five to $50,000, if you can't get a thirty thousand dollar loan, you can't buy that house. Right. And so we to create inclusion, we have to do it. We have to make it happen for folks and raise their credit score, get them access to capital, and that's why I wanted to focus on Detroit. And and this is happening in many cities across the country. I mean, look at Baltimore. Mm-hmm. You know, same things going on there. Mm-hmm. Look at uh, look at Newark, New Jersey. Um, you know, the things happen. So you can see this happening in other places where folks are getting left out of the resurgence of the city, even though they've been the ones that have been there the longest. Again, on May 15th, that's a noon to 1 p.m., there's going to be hashtag credit chat that's a, on Twitter. Uh, it's going to be hosted by uh, my good friend and actor, extraordinaire, financial activist, uh, Hill Harper. Uh, Hill, what type of question do you expect to get doing that? Uh, than a credit you know, check. I expect folks to say, listen, you know, um, my credit score is low because of some mistakes. I, this is what I get a lot, um, mm. even on the street. Hey, say, Hill, I know you're working with Experian. My credit score <laughs> is low because when I was in college, I ended up with some high interest credit cards that I've just been, uh, uh, you know, I've just been paying the minimums on. And then I had my student loans. You know, what do I pay off first? How can I approach increasing my score, but at the same time, keep my head above water, you know, these types of questions, and, and, and I'll be able to break those things down. Obviously, to just to give a quick answer to it, if someone has that question out there right now listening, whatever your highest interest, you know, debt is, that's what you want to tackle first. Right. And that's usually your credit cards or usually your higher interest. You can also negotiate your interest rates on your credit cards. Don't take that as a given. The other thing is do not max out your available credit because somebody said to me, Hill, I pay off my cards every month, but, and then I, but my score is not going up. And I said, well, how much of your available credit do you use? He said, well, oh, I max out the card, but then I pay it off completely. I said, well, no, 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 no. You get a negative report if you're using more than 30% of your available credit on any mm-hmm. given month. So what does that mean? Call the credit card company, have them increase your available credit amount or potentially add another card. Now, when you add another card, your score may drop a little bit short term, but long term, because you'll have more available credit, it will go up. I tell folks, don't close any cards as long as they're not high cost cards to carry. Um, 
you know, year after year because that will negatively impact your score as well. It's really interesting where you almost got to stay in debt to a certain degree to have uh, approval that you can pay off potential new debt. Well, it, it, well, no, let's be clear. You don't have to stay in debt. Mm -hmm. You just have to have available credit. Okay. Those are two different things. I mean, okay. you don't have to use the debt mm -hmm. to, for, it, for its account. So, so let's say you have a card that has $1,000 available credit. If you put a few dollars on it, you know, that's fine. You don't have to use it, um, but you need to keep the card open. That's the point, right? So, so that, that's true. So what, what drives your passion and activism for financial empowerment? We've, we've kind of hinted around, but now this question is you. What drives you? I realized when I started my foundation, um, Manifest Your Destiny, that I wanted to, to empower young people and, and in terms of education, in terms of helping them achieve their goals. business. And I started to realize the number one excuse or reason they would give me as to why they're not following their dreams always went back to money. And they say, man, I wanted to study this, but I couldn't afford it. Or I want to start this business, but I couldn't afford it. I wanted to do this. I wanted to travel here to learn this, but, I, man, I, I couldn't afford it. I said, well, and then you look at couples, and you look at how broken many of our families are. What's the number one thing couples argue about? Money. And so I started to say, you know, if money is the root of what's holding people back, and we don't even teach it in school, what's going on? You know, we have to educate folks and empower them financially for them to actually live their best lives right. and have an opportunity to live their best lives and, and, and create wealth. And I want to create wealth in our communities. At the end of the day, I want people to look back at me and say, Hill Harper created 10,000 black and brown millionaires. So with that being said, uh, is there a responsibility when you, when you take on these type of titles or you try to uh, you know, empower people to live a better life, Hill? Yes, you know, when I think about our, our, our communities and I think about the idea of cross-generational wealth transfer, you start to realize that the only way that can start to happen is if we really take care of the fundamentals. It's almost like athletics, right? Right. You've you got, you got to learn the fundamentals before you start doing the trick shots. And so in, in, in the same holds true for wealth building and, and financial literacy. So credit is one of the foundational elements of learning it and, and, and being able to, so, so we got to start at the basics before some, you know, someone could come up to me, man, I want to own apartment buildings across the country. And I'm like, well, let's talk about credit first. You know, let's, let's go to the basics first. And then we'll talk about how you can start acquiring apartment buildings across the country. Right. You know, so, so it's, we always have to go back to the basics in the beginning. And that's why this partnership with Experian is so important because I'm, I'm celebrating a company that's innovating. And that's important because unless we have, you know, these companies innovate to try to create products that people can use to empower themselves, then, then I want to encourage other companies to follow suit. So, so you know, I, I'm, that's why I'm proud to be the brand ambassador for this <laughs> product. And, and, and I want people to use it and adopt it because it'll send a message saying, hey, the more we do these types of innovation things, um, the more the, the more people use them and adopt them, we're going to come out with even more products that can that people can use to empower themselves. Well, like I told earlier in the interview, I said uh, all my life I, I've always felt that credit uh, was important to me. I know there's a certain responsibility that comes with trying to maintain and build good credit, and to see you as a brand ambassador under this campaign called Boost America, tied to one of the top credit firms, Experian, lets me know that. This direction is in good hands, really, really good hands. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I, and I appreciate you having this show and these conversations because all of this is important. Too many of us, we, we stress out about money we, 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 and, and, and credit, and we put our head in the sand and be like, you know, someone told me today, I don't even want to know my score. And I'm saying, that's, that's mm -hmm. let's, you know, let's really dig in and, and know your score and then start fixing it. We have to do that for each other. We have to support each other in it. And, um, you know, Dr. King said we're all tied together in a single garment of mutual destiny. So I truly believe my destiny is linked with yours. It's just like you were saying at the beginning. Right. Your show has expanded its reach. So to the extent your show expands, we, we can work together to expand and help each other spread a message and, and, and hopefully empower folks. And that's the way it works. We're, none, of our, none of us are in this alone. 
and too many times we have folks that are making the money not sharing the secrets about how they can empower other people because they're like, I want it all for myself. That's totally not the type of person I am. I want as much information. I want other people to win as much because I know I'm tied to them just as much they're tied to me. Awesome. Uh, this is Hill Harper. Hill, thank you again for calling the show. Of course, you know I got to promote you. They're May 15th date. Uh, tell your team to get the banners to me. You know how I operate. I'm going to send out the, I'm going to actually do a special uh, fan club uh, blast to my 230,000 fan club members on that date for you. Because I feel it's important that our community understands there's value and there's people out there willing to guide them to that value. Thanks for calling.